Racism is a reality. What, racism didn't exist in the past? How did people respond to racism? Abu Bakr, the, Abu Ghafar, the Prophet said, you're a man that has, still has jahiliya in you. He didn't say, you're a racist. How dare you, Abu Dhar? You racist man. He didn't say that. He said, Ante imro'un fikal jahiliya. There's still some ignorance in you. That's what racism is, it's just ignorance. What, because your color is different from me means that you're less than me or I'm more than you or you're more than me and I'm less than you? That's ignorance. You cut the person, he bleeds, tickle him, he laughs. Deprive him of food, he gets hungry. Make him angry, he gets angry, right? Human beings. That's the human being, it's a human condition. So how do we deal with racism? Because clearly it's a problem on the planet, it always has been. How did the Prophet deal with it? He educated people. You could do better than that. Abu Dhar put his hand, face on the ground and begged Bilal to put his foot on his face. Kafaratan. Just for saying, Ya bin Sauda, which is like using the N-word today. That's what he asked him to do. Forgive me. I, I, ignorance is from Jahiliyyah. That's what the beauty of Islam. It teaches you how to be different. All these problems have been around. How do we address them? How do we look to the future? All this grievance from the past. The English did horrible things. They did horrible things to my ancestors, mostly from Ireland, 700 years of oppression. That's not the English people today. They didn't do that. They didn't conquer India. Those people are all dead. I just met an Armenian man. It was, it was in the doctor's office. And he said, uh, I said, have you ever been to Turkey? He said, no, I can't go there. I said, why? He said, and then I looked at him. He looked Armenian. I said, are you Armenian? He said, yeah. And then he was like, oh, why do you say that? I said, because that's, that prejudice that you're displaying is, 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 is cultural. Those Turks today had nothing to do with what those Turks did 100 years ago. Don't blame them. They're good people. I said, War makes people do horrible things. American boys that went to Iraq, they were nice boys, many of them. If you met them, you'd find them pleasant people. You'd sit with them, have coffee, talk to them. When they went into that horrific condition of war, they became murderers. This is what war does to people. They do, and now they come back, and what do they do? They get addicted to drugs. They commit suicide because they cannot believe what they actually did. This is what war does to people. That's why it's such an evil. We have to let these grievances go. Kulukum min Adam wa Adam in Turab. We're all Benu Adam. We're all children of Adam. We're all cousins. If we went back far enough, we would see we somewhere down the line. We're, we're cousins. We're family. This is the human condition. And every, we have uncles that people want to kick out of the family, but you can't, right? There's people, they're, they're, they're terrible, but this is the reality. How do we make it better?